good morning dear students welcome to the english class and in this class of video today we are going to talk about a word dress that is 17th question yesterday we had a discussion over the same topic word dress and we discussed the rules of making a stress on a particular syllable that is rule 1 is how a stress is shifted from one syllable to the another syllable and the very second one is a noun or an adjective if it is a disyllabic and uh, have a silent r letter they have stress on their first syllable and before we going to talk about this class i would like to announce you that the materials are available in our office and please take your materials which are very helpful for reference of our topics thank you all of you now let us talk about rule number 3 rule number 3 is a very easy look at the rule number 3 try syllabic words try syllabic words try syllabic words in the sense of a word which has three syllables a word which has a three syllable is a tri syllabic word now rule number 3 talks about tri syllabic word which have stress on first syllable remember this point tri syllabic words which have stress on their first syllable and di syllabic words which are nouns and adjective and have a silent r which have a stress on their first syllable so this is also a tri this is a tri syllabic word which have a stress on their first syllable now it is better to have a knowledge on kinds of syllables yesterday i mentioned you four kinds of syllable that is monosyllabic word disyllabic word trisyllabic word and tetrasyllabic word okay now we are talking about trisyllabic words trisyllabic words have a stress on their first syllable dear students i just wanted to mention you that before you uh, make a stress on a particular syllable you should not consider letters you should consider the sounds or you should consider the syllables see here look at the word marvelous 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 see there are three syllables so it is a tri syllabic word so that uh, stress takes place on first syllable it is not first letter it is on first syllable and second one is passenger passenger here it is r is also silent but uh, don't think about r here tri syllabic word as it is a tri syllabic word stress takes place on first syllable okay so passenger so pa se ja so there are three syllables so stress is on first syllable and now news paper news paper see news paper so new pa pa new pa pa so there are three syllables so that uh, stress is on first syllable and now coming to the uh, master of peace master p ma sta p so three syllables so that uh, stress is on first syllable and now coming to the uh, word carefully carefully see here carefully so carefully there are three syllables so that uh, stress is on first syllable and now coming to this side segregate what is this one segregate so segregate so three syllables so that stress is on first syllable and next one is lovingly la vi gli la vi gli so three syllables so that stress is on first syllable okay next one nervously 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 three syllables so, so that stress is on first syllable and the next one is hemisphere hemisphere he me he me spare so there are three syllables so that stress is on first syllable and next one wonderful 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 wa da fu wonderful so that uh, stress is on first syllable and this is a uh, uh, all about rule 3 rule 3 talks about only tri syllabic words 
all these trisyllabic words have stress on their first syllable and let us talk about to rule number 4 now rule number 4 talks about disyllabic words rule number 3 talks about trisyllabic words all the trisyllabic words which have stress on their first syllable and rule number 4 talks about disyllabic words see disyllabic words that begins with prefixes like a, an, b, d, con, in, x, re have stress on their second syllables. See, yesterday we talked about that disyllabic words have stress on their first syllable. Now, this is slight difference that if the disyllabic word starts with any prefixes, any prefixes like re, d, in, a, uh, x, like, con, like. So, if any disyllabic word started with prefixes, what is the word exactly the prefix? Prefix is a nothing but uh, clusters of words which are added before the root word. Before the root word. If clusters of words are added before the root word, the meaning of the root word will be negative. So that is how a prefix works on root word. See here, if you find a disyllabic word or when you come across a disyllabic word that is started with any prefix, that is started with the prefix have stress on their second syllable. Second syllable. See here, for example, look at the word forgot. Forgot. See, forgot. It is a disyllabic word. But here, here for is a prefix so that uh, stress is on second syllable that is G. Forgot. Okay, stress is on second syllable. It is not a letter. And I am talking only about the syllable. So, here for ga. So, second syllable start from the G letter. So, that we should have a stress on first second syllable. That is G. Ga. Okay, now see. Per time. Per is a prefix. So, that per tain. Tain. Second syllable. A. Tain. So, second syllable. So, therefore, stress is on T. Tain. Tain. Per time. So, per tain. So, second syllable is T. So, that we should have a stress on second syllable. Next, see. Remain. Remain. So, remain. Actually, here you should not have a stress you should not make a stress on after prefix you should have a stress you should use stress on second syllable if the word starts with the if the word has a three two syllables see here remains remain see remain remain disyllabic word but whereas here re is a prefix so that stress is on second syllable from where the stress is started from second syllable is started may re may so that second syllable is m so this is remain so the stress is on second syllable now see degree d is a prefix so that Degree, so degree. Next, prepare, prepare. So prepare, prepare. Right? And adapt, adapt, adapt. See, first syllable is a, second syllable is da. So that uh, adapt. That is what I am saying you. Keep on saying you that it is not on a letter. It is on the syllable. Press is on syllable. See here. A is a letter, single letter, it produces a single sound, complete sound. So that A itself is a complete syllable. So that it is a first syllable and the second syllable is da, a da. So, so you should use stress on second syllable. Now see, antic, antic, an is a prefix, tick. So here see, stress is on t, antic. Next, prolong. Prolong, so pro, la, second syllable long. And began, b is a prefix so that again, began. Next, really, so really, so l, y, l, stress is on l. Next, advance, advance, at, advance, so stress is on v, advance. Advance, so ad is a prefix. 
नेक्स्ट पेहैप्स पेहैप्स पेर हैप्स सो हिच सेकंड सेल पर स्टार्ट्स तो अंदी हिच चार्मर्स हैप्स पेहैप्स नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू दिस साइड डिस्क्राइब डिस्क्राइब सो हियर स्ट्रेस इट इज डी इज ए प्रीफिक्स सो स्क्राइ स्क्राइब सो स्ट्रेस इज ऑन यस लेटर एंड नो अलार्म alarm see here in the case of alarm a itself is a separate syllable so the second syllable start from the alarm alarm so stress is on l now extract so as x is a prefix so the second syllable starts from the extract tract so p so stress is on second syllable now beside beside b is a prefix so that stress is on second syllable sai right next because again b is a prefix so that cas is a second syllable ka is a second syllable therefore stress takes place on ka second syllable expense 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 act is a first syllable pe is a second syllable so that stress is on second syllable now see here among it is among a ah, that is a itself is a single syllable so that it is a first syllable and the second syllable in the word among is ma ama ama so that stress is on second syllable and see regard regard re is a first syllable and ga is a second syllable so that stress is on second syllable so that it is re itself is a prefix and it produces a once complete sound so that it is a first syllable and second syllable so that stress takes place on second syllable now see believe so b is a prefix so that re is a second syllable so that stress takes place on second syllable le next suppose suppose see sa is a prefix so pause is a second syllable pause now see deceive so d is a prefix so and second syllable starts from the c deceive and now last one is contain what is it a contain so can is a prefix so and tain is a second syllable so can ka te ka te so second syllable starts from the t letter so that the stress is on second syllable so i hope you understand so rule number 4 uh, talks about only disyllabic words but here disyllabic words which have started which are started with prefixes if you find or if you come across any disyllabic word which is started or which is started with using a prefix there you should use a stress on second syllable stress takes place on second syllable if the disyllabic word started with any prefix okay uh, let's go for rule number 5 now we shall talk about rule number 5 rule number 5 talks about again trisyllabic words in rule number 3 uh, we talked about trisyllabic words which have stress on their first syllable but it is quite different here rule number 5 talks about trisyllabic words which have stress on second syllable but here in the case of if trisyllabic word starts with any prefixes starting with prefixes if your trisyllabic word starting with prefixes they have stress on their second syllable if trisyllabic word starts without any prefixes stress is on their first syllable now you got the difference between the trisyllabic words starting with prefixes or without prefixes if a trisyllabic word starts without prefixes that is stress takes place on first syllable whereas if the same trisyllabic words have a prefix in front of their root words automatically stress takes place on second syllable so that is the difference between the trisyllabic words with stress with prefixes and without prefixes with the prefixes stress is on their second syllable without the prefixes stress is on their first syllable now these are the examples see when you look at the word accustom 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 is a word which has three syllables in this word here a is a prefix 
I is a prefix so that I itself is a complete sound therefore it is a complete syllable so that it is a first syllable as for our rule if the uh, trisyllable code starts with the prefixes stress is on their second syllable so that I itself is a first syllable and second syllable starts from the ka so that is uh, C Akashtam Akashtam now coming to the second one contain here can is a prefix sorry continue continue so can is a prefix second syllable starts from the t so the stress is on second syllable t right and now illustrate illustrate here see l illustrate see stress, uh, stress is on second l in the word illustrate illustrate here see second syllable starts from the second l see illustrate illustrate l illustrate right so therefore stress is on second syllable that means second syllable starts from the second l in the word illustrate now according to according according as i have already told you a itself is a complete sound therefore it is a first syllable and second syllable start from the c aka aka according according right now see conception conception con is a prefix and say sha so there are two syllables so that second syllable start from the c letter so the second syllable stress is on c letter that means second syllable start from here so that stress is on second syllable the second syllable starts from the c letter right and now examined examined see here a that sorry e itself is a sound like a in according so the two exa za za second syllable starts from the x za so the two stress is on second syllable x okay now see december december it is a trisyllabic word d s ba ba so trisyllabic word so as it is starts with the prefix d so the second syllable starts from the say december so that uh, second syllable stress is on second syllable now indebted indebted so in is uh, a preposition and uh, e is a first syllable second syllable de in de so that uh, stress is on second syllable now coming to the another word determined determined so d is a first syllable and it's a d itself is a prefix so that the second syllable start from the ta ta so that the stress is on t letter that is second syllable and departure departure so d is a prefix and d d is a first syllable and second syllable starts from the p letter pa pa so that the stress is on second syllable that starts from the p letter and now in habit in habit so as in is a prefix and it is a first syllable itself so that second syllable starts from the h ha so that stress is on second syllable and now reluctance reluctance r e is a prefix luct so here rela so l second syllable starts from the l rela so that so these are the rules that we need to study carefully that we need to keep in our mind to have to make stress on particular syllable in a particular words so rule number 5 talks about talks about trisyllabic words which are starts from the which are started with the prefixes have stress on their second syllable Disyllabic words have a stress on their first syllable if the same disyllabic word starts with the prefixes automatically stress is on first syllable okay so i hope you understand this class and we shall continue this class tomorrow thank you for listening to this class thank you very much